Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. We think pretty is pretty important in all things in beauty. Welcome to Radio AMB, designed for those who want to live a long and vibrant life. I'm Patty Smucker, a licensed cosmetologist who's been in the business for over 40 years. Radio AMB stands for American Made Beauty, and it's where we tell the secrets behind the making of health and beauty products. Our segment sponsor today is Alex and Tay Custom Nail Color. Download an app, snap a picture, Name your color, and in 72 hours, your custom seven-free nail polish is en route to you. With over 16 16 million polish colors available, you can capture the moments of your life in color. Find Alex and Tay on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. My guest today is an industry icon, but when you think of an icon, you think about their best work being behind them. Not so with Sam Villa, who is changing the industry one hairdresser at a time. The Villa family did not have a lot of money growing up, but Sam's parents had a wealth of expectations for their kids. Sam says his parents demanded that all of us live morally, ethically, and most importantly, with humility. Sam says what's, most, what's more, they always said that no matter what profession we do in life, we must do it with complete and utter focus and passion, and I always remember that. Whether teaching face-to-face in small hands-on class, on main stages, or reaching his millions of social media followers, Sam is living up to his parents' vision. He is the true leader that brings out the best in others. His career, uh, in his career, he has uh, uh, accolades of every major um, corner of our industry, including the 2017 Naha Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Sam is known for doing things differently to challenge, inspire, motivate, and change. His, enc- his encouragement of stylists is unrivaled as he genuinely wants each one of them to reach deep, to identify how they can make a change to promote their own growth. Sam's talent stretched far beyond his brilliant cutting and finishing skills. He has a plethora of business skills that enliven stylists to think about how they speak to their guests to add value behind the chair. It really is truly my honor to welcome Sam Villa. Thanks for being here with us. Patty, it's an honor and a pleasure, and I'm really excited to have this opportunity to speak to your audience. Well, Sam, I know you know you. Anyone who who's in the industry, um, your history is very long, and I didn't want to spend a lot of time focusing on the past because you're doing some amazing things right now. So tell us a, a little bit about your current focus on developing um, somewhat of a customer-focused brand awareness. Well, basically, what we're doing, Patty, is we've really established the name and the brand in the professional industry, and now what we're doing is we're trying to really establish ourselves on the consumer side. So most recently, I just returned from L.A., and I'm shooting, just finished shooting a new reality TV program that's going to be airing in 2018. And the name of the program is called The Look All Stars. And I really believe that this particular reality program is going to be very, very positive for the industry. In other words, this is not going to be a train wreck. And what I mean by a train wreck, I think a lot of times when you think of reality TV, you think of drama and uh, just this whole uh, negative drama that occurs and how it's handled. Basically, what this particular program is about, it's about transformations. It's about how hairdressers behind the chair have an opportunity to really transform lives. It's about makeovers. It's about the hairdresser itself in terms of the skills of the hairdresser. So everyone wants to know how to look their best, and that's what this show is about. It's where they gather two hairdressers, and they are the main stars of the show, and they compete in two challenges, and they're scored on those challenges. And then at the end of those two challenges, the winner is 
based on a cumulative score. But it's all about the idea of, of the show being positive. It's about transformations. It's about loving what they do as a hairdresser. It's about information for the consumer in terms of how you create these looks, you know, what's, they, what's good for you in terms of uh, texture of hair or face shape. But it's a, it's a one-hour innovative episode of beauty and style competitions. It was well, just so, sounds like a, a really, really fun project. Um, tell us a little bit about how, the other people that have been involved, and you're exci- I mean, so you sound excited about this project. Oh, I'm very excited about it. The people involved is the host is Tori Spelling. So welcome back, 90210. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, we, we learn from the past and the future is where we apply it. But Tori Spelling was just awesome. She's the host. And then Kim Vo is the mentor. Oh, wow. For the, yeah, for uh-huh. the contestants. And I'm a main judge. So there's four judges. We have two guest judges and two main judges. Uh, some of the guest judges were Vivian McKinder, Bruno Moscolo, um, uh, let's see, we had Kira, uh, Billiker, who was, uh, a star from Dance Moms. So you're seeing a number of uh, salon professionals and then you're seeing some celebrities from TV itself as guest judges. It, the, the viewer can expect, um, the primary focus to be in terms of uh, challenges that are themed for tips and tricks for the salon professional in terms of being able to showcase those to the consumer. So I'm really excited about in terms of what it offers and how it defines itself, meaning a positive, positive outlook for the beauty industry in terms of what you see on the show. And, you know, it's really interesting because um, a lo- there are various different perceptions about what it means to be a professional stylist. Um, help th- this really, it sounds like this is really going to help the world understand the opportunities that someone could experience if they came into the industry. Well said, because that's the idea behind the show. It's really an opportunity to uplift the salon professional, the hairdresser that's standing behind the chair, and, you know, the value that hairdresser can really offer to the consumer. I think a lot of times, Patty, what happens is, you know, you hear that phrase, you're just a hairdresser. I think in today's world, it's different in terms of being a hairdresser and the opportunities that are available to the consumer uh, provided by a hairdresser. Right. And I, I love what you're saying and, the, and that messaging because more and more, I've oh, for many years said, the one thing that will never go away is the desire for people to be touched physically by other people. And hairdressers have that opportunity to get into that intimate space uh, for people. Is the, is the tips and tricks that uh, and the transformation will expand upon that and, and show consumers what goes into really um, creating some of these various different looks? Yes. As a matter of fact, it's really interesting because the challenges, you're actually seeing, seeing the challenge take place. So, for example, you have to take someone that is um, a husband and wife team or a first date night, and they're actually going into a salon together and you're doing a makeover on both of them. So you actually see that take place. So you're actually getting educated on these tips and tricks. And then what they had us do as judges and competitors, they had us actually shoot some tips and tricks. Um, For example, I shot a couple where I talked about um, the idea of using hairspray as a means of getting the flyaways down by simply spraying it on a makeup powder brush. Mm -hmm. So it's really... um, um, things that are going to help the consumer at home, but also really help the consumer to understand the value of a hairdresser. Now, I know that you have, as we said at the top of the show, spent most of your career really establishing yourself as one of the leading authorities in the professional industry, but now more so starting to um, transfer some of that education and quality uh, to speak more to the consumer. Are you doing that with both the education that you're doing as well as some of the products that you're making available to consumers? Yes. Matter of fact, what we did was we really focused on the professional side, on tool, on the tool side. Now what we're doing is we're starting to have our tools um, accessible for the consumer, meaning that we have a consumer website 
where we're actually selling the tools. Uh, the tools are available through in salons, and what we're doing is developing more tools for the consumer, specifically for the consumer. And that's important because I think con consumers are looking for proper tools and they need to understand proper tools in terms of the mechanics behind tools and why they're made the way that they're made. I think a lot of times consumers purchase a tool, Patty, mm -hmm. based upon brand and price, which I believe is a big mistake. Okay. What consumers need to look at is they need to look at what are the materials that the tool is offering. In other words, titanium irons versus ceramic versus tourmaline. Ceramic and tourmaline are going to be much better materials and well, much more conditioning for the hair than a titanium iron is because titanium, it's, it, it, it retains the heat and it gets too hot. Uh -huh. So therefore, it's not good for the hair. So these are things that the consumer needs to be aware of. So I really recommend that when a consumer looks for a tool, they look for a tool based upon what are, what, what, what are those materials that are going to be beneficial for the hair. Not don't purchase a tool just because of the brand and the price. Right, and that's a, a really good point. And and as you've as you've worked through this process, focusing so much on the professional, was it easy to make that transition to start putting your attention on the mechanics and and the different needs that the consumer had as compared to the salon professional? Well, I think the needs are pretty much the same when you think about it, because. Let's talk about a blow dryer, for example. I think that blow dryers, the science now behind blow dryers, mm -hmm. Patty, is incredible. You know, a lot of times uh, what consumers went for is they would go for a blow dryer that's really powerful, mm -hmm. you know, one that really put out a strong airflow and strong heat. Yet what now what's important is that you've got blow dryers now that have ionic switches, which an ionic blow dryer is best for all types of hair, meaning that ions on, means that you're going to get a really smooth, polished finish. You're going to be able to control the dryness and the frizz and the flyaways. Wow. With the ion switch off, you're going to be able to disrupt the hair so that you get more volume. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, well, wait a minute. There's, that's One's good, one's bad. Well, think about it. Fine hair needs volume. Mm -hmm. So fine hair, the cuticle, the top layer, the top surface of the hair shaft is closed. So you want to explode it more. So the way you explode it more is you turn the ion switch off. Now it's going to go in and it's going to explode the cuticle so you're going to have more volume. And so two, two questions that, that evolved from that for me. Number one is, will you go back for a moment and explain ions since a good portion of our audience is consumers? And then is if the net result of opening up the cuticle like that, is it damaging? Yes, damaging, opening up a cuticle can, can, can create a lot of damage. So the idea is when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you understand this, uh, the, the idea behind it. Let me start with ceramic. Ceramic is basically, it's like clay. It's soft. So it has a lot of conditioning benefits to it. Where tourmaline is more like crystals, but yet it's broken up so it's very powder. So it's on the surface of the iron. So what happens is these negative ions, what they do is they help, they break up the water molecules, dry the hair faster, and at the same time they close the cuticle giving you more shine and more smoothness, and they control the dryness and the flyaways. So tourmaline right now is the big one that's really kind of hit the industry in terms of hot tools and understanding how it works. But basically it's just broken up crystal that's really broken up into a powder form and then what you do is you actually are putting this on the iron plate of an iron so therefore what it does is these negative ions when the heat hits it it goes in it, it dries the hair faster and it conditions okay so it's the combination of really understanding the tools that you're using how to use them and how to use them in conjunction with one another yes and, you know, the old saying, too, product is not an option. It's a necessity. Mm -hmm. You've got to have product in there because product is what's going to help protect, aside from using the, the uh, proper tool. Mm -hmm. I think what got us in trouble is heat. You know, we, we were led to believe the, the um, stronger something is or the hotter something is, the faster it's going to dry and the better, and, and the, the better, it's going to, you know, the better results you're going to get. Heat is our best friend, Patty, 
but only when we're in control. Mm -hmm. If only that little girl on YouTube would have known that. Right. (laughs) (laughs) So the idea is is that, you know, heat, you have to control the heat. Let me give you an example. And this is great for your consumer audience to know. When When you have your color freshly done, if you take a um, blow dryer or a iron and you turn it on hot, you are affecting the color molecules. Mm. So anything that goes over 392 degrees temperature of heat is going to affect the color molecules. So people have got to be aware of that, that the idea of what, what they're doing when they turn it on high, the color molecules don't have a chance to adhere to the hair shaft. That's why you have your reds fade, your your brighter colors fade, your uh, darker colors fade. Now, blondes, they don't have an issue because they, they're they not a deposit of color. They've been lifted. Right, right. So when you deposit color, when you hit it with three, over 392, you are affecting the color, color molecules. Right. And that's the problem with heat. Right. Well, it, and this this whole process um, ha, for you and your business, I, it's obviously a, a bit of a shift in terms of putting more uh, effort into developing your uh, direct to consumer focus. Are you is are you finding that there is more time and energy that you're putting into educating the consumer about this information? Oh, yes. I find that we're constantly doing it in my releases. Every time I put a release out, I'm putting two releases out. I'll put a professional release out and a consumer release out. So let's, for example, let's say, for example, the topic is about heat and what it does. I'll put a release out that specifically speaks to the salon professional. And then I'll take that same release, rewrite it so that it's understood by the consumer, so it's a language that they understand, and we'll put that same release out, but obviously in a language the consumer understands. So I'm definitely trying to educate the consumer in terms of awareness, in terms of everything, whether it be a hot tip, a trick, a hair hack, or information regarding tools, uh, information regarding products, etc. As the as the industry is evolving and consumers are having more intimate relationships with brands, how what's been the reaction of the industry towards you um, including the consumer in your education process? Well, let me. I'll give you a story. Um, I had a phone call from an individual, and he said, "Sam, I'm not going to be following you anymore. I've been following you for the past two years. I'm disappointed on what you're doing." You're posting your information on YouTube, and you're teaching the consumer how to cut their hair. Mm-hmm. So I, I had my PR person reach out to this guy. Said, you know, I want to do this on emails. Let's talk. So I got his phone number. We talked, and I said, okay, so tell me, what do you have said about it? He said, well, think about what you're doing. You are actually teaching the consumer to twist cut their fringe and cut their own bangs. Mm-hmm. I, said, I said, now, let me explain something to you. There's a reason why I'm doing that. First of all, I just want to say, don't worry about that person because that person is looking for a discount. That person is the one that's going to come into your salon and ask you to fix what they did. I would concern myself with the person that's in your chair. I said, you know, you seem like a really strong uh, salon professional. I said, don't think about that. He goes, well, then why are you doing it? Mm -hmm. I said, first of all, I want you to understand I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. As a teacher... I'm going to put things out there, and social media is a resource right now in order for people to learn. I said, I need you to get this. There could be a hairdresser out there who has three jobs, six children, and he can't or she can't go to an educational event, and I'm going to teach that person. Right, right. And when I said that, all of a sudden there was quiet. Mm -hmm. He was very quiet, and I, um, I said, are you there? And I could hear him sniffling, and he was kind of like, Sam, I'm really sorry. He goes, I never thought about that. I said, you know, I I said, you have to understand that the most important important person is the person in your chair. Don't worry about what's going on around you. I want you to play the game of life. Don't be a spectator. Be a player. Mm -hmm. And right now what you're doing is you're, you're, you're a spectator. You're just looking out and around and about you. And that's not any concern of yours. I said, now you understand why I'm doing it, because as a teacher, I'm going to help every hairdresser that I can. And if the public wants to try and do what it is that I'm teaching, I guarantee you there's some things they're going to be able to do, because I want them to be able to do it, yet there's some things that they're not going to be able to do, and that's where they come in and see you. 
And what a great opportunity as we wrap up this segment. Um, and what a great opportunity, though, because from the standpoint of the hairdresser, you're uplifting the profession, but you're also engaging the consumer in a conversation that's got to be really powerful. Oh, yes. I, you know, I mean, let's face it. As a hairdresser standing behind the chair, their professional responsibility to sp- is to prescribe a rep- and recommend. I think that what the hairdressers need to understand in today's world is price is what the consumer pays and value is what they get. That's so right. I think the hairdressers need to ask themselves, what are you giving behind the chair that's value? And value is knowledge. I'm not talking about an added service. That's right. All right. Well, we're going to end this segment, and when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about Sam's perspective about where the industry is right now and some of the concerns he has about where it's going in the future. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Shh. Over here. Here's a secret for a virus-free computer. ESET. They've been a pioneer in the antivirus industry for over 25 years. 25 years of innovative, top-rated antivirus protection. ESET's award-winning security solutions provide a safe online experience for over 100 million home and business computer owners. They are so affordable, fast, and simple to use. So be gone, you blue screen of death. ESET's on my computer. If it's not on yours, visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on ESET now. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com, visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. What does HealthyLife.net and Amazon.com have in common? Well, they're both available on the Internet. They both give great value. But most important, most of our positive program hosts and guests are accomplished authors. And their books are available from, you got it, Amazon.com. Now it even gets better than that. Because when you're listening on air to a HealthyLife.net host or guest, you can go directly to Amazon.com and you can order your book while you're still listening to your favorite HealthyLife.net program. So when you hear an author you like, go to the homepage of HealthyLife.net and click on Amazon.com. Where positive people and radio unite. HealthyLife.net Hey, welcome back. This is Patty Smucker, and you're listening to Radio AMB on HealthyLife.net. I'm here with the co-founder of Sam Via and the global artistic ambassador for Redken. Sam, I'm thrilled to hear about where you're going with your reality program and really uplifting the industry. But, but the beauty industry, you've got some concerns about where it's going right now. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned in regards to... <clears throat> You know, the, like the social media game has been great in terms of what it's done for us and what it's done for the industry. But my concern is in terms of the the ideas of what I'm seeing out there in terms of the, the negativity, meaning that <clears throat> I think social is great because of what it's done for us in terms of being able to readily access things like education. I also think that you find a lot of people out there that are doing what they feel is the right thing to do in terms of what they post and how they post it. But what happens is you get a lot of negativity from people, and the negativity is about, um, I don't like the look that you just posted, it's negative, 
I just think that, you know, it, it's unfortunate what, what's happening with social media. It's created a very competitive environment with artistic criticism. Mm -hmm. And it can be abusive and it can be intimidating. Right. And I really think that what hairdressers need to do is we need to understand that we're all in this together. We need to respect each other in an artistic way. And we need to promote the growth and the evolution of the salon professional industry. And the way to promote it and grow it is through positive communication. Well, you know, it, Comments can fly from a computer screen and smartphones. And what the originators forget, Patty, is they, that they forget that the person on the receiving end has feelings. That's right. You know, instead of breaking down stylists, we need to build each other up. Right. You know, I had a young stylist in a beauty school tell me that she's going to leave the industry as a result of it. Mm -hmm. You know, she was getting, posting her, her work on her social media page, her Facebook page, and she was just getting negativity. And she said, I'm going to quit. And I told her, you know, I explained to her, you know, you can't quit. You, you, you enter this industry for a reason. You can't let people that hide behind a computer uh, screen affect you. Right. And because that's what they're doing. They're just knocking each other's work mm -hmm. down. So I think, you know, it, it's interesting because the other side of social media is it's, it's starting to affect show attendance, live education. Live education attendance is down. And I really believe that the hairdresser needs to understand you need both resources, mm -hmm. social media, and you need live education. For example, the analogy of college, you know, the experience of going to college and going to a campus, you just can't beat that experience mm -hmm. as opposed to taking college online. Right. It's a different experience. Right. The, the, the idea of going to a show is an experience. You can get touched, you can get a light, light of fire underneath you, and you can get a light, a light of fire inside of you. On YouTube, you can't ask questions. YouTube, I can't touch your heart on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, I can touch your heart and light a fire underneath you on a live, uh, live show, and it's three-dimensional, and you can participate. And so those are the concerns that I have right now that's going on in the industry. And um, and, I th and I think the, the whole idea, too, with social is that it's also given platform for people who aren't qualified to do. I mean, I've watched some of these YouTube videos, and it blows my mind uh, to see people doing things like using Elmer's glue to wax their eyebrows or, you know, s some of these various hair color things. It really is scary, w which, which leads me to another concern that, that you and I had a, a chance to chat a little bit about, which is these regulatory issues around our industry yes yes it's very unfortunate what's taking place and and on that in terms of you know i think how cool would it be if you could go to um you could go to another state and work in another state without having to worry about your license meaning that there's no reciprocation mm -hmm. from one place to another you know in other words like if i go to from california to new york or to another state, there's a possibility where I might have to go back to school because it requires more hours. Right, right. You know, so I think what people need to understand is the I, the, the whole thing of deregulation and, and you know, how, you, I'm, you know, Patty, the one thing I'm saying is you need a license to do hair, period. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you have to have a license. Be, why? Because of the the... The, the trustable, uh, uh, accountable, you know, uh, knowledge it requires to be a hairdresser. I mean, how can a consumer go to a person that is not licensed and they're playing with chemicals? To me, it just doesn't make sense. Right. So well, I think, go ahead. And, well, and I know, I know you've put a lot of emphasis on this in terms of wanting to upgrade, you know, who's attending school and really putting your tools actually into student kits, which is a huge departure from what was done in the past. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think, you know, schools are, you know, I'm really big on schools on this whole idea of, you know, um, because this whole licensing effect that affects schools. And then the other side of schools is I really believe that when I went to school, the tools that I had were uh, unbelievable. I mean, how could you want me to do what you were asking me to do with the tools that you were giving me? 
So what we've done as a brand, we are now uh, supplying to the schools with tool, with uh, school kits. Mm -hmm. And it's really important that these school kits, I believe, you know, a lot of schools, well, they're, Sam, they're expensive. Well, it's just a matter of getting the right school, or the right tools in, in the kids' hands so that that way they can perform what they need to do, and then they have a knowledge of what good tools are. So that's what we've started to do. We really, I'm into ergonomics. The tools that I'm making are ergonomically correct. One of the things that I've done is created a shear where the handle fits the thumb naturally, where you're not putting it in a, the thumb in a, in a position where it creates carpal tunnel. The blow dryer, we made it so that it is very lightweight. It's less than one pound. So all of these things I'm taking into consideration in terms of creating the right tools that are going to add longevity. Now, the other side of schools is we, I'm, a big, I'm big on education, and I want to, when schools purchase our school kits, it gives the school an opportunity to create a culture built around San Via education. Mm -hmm. So they, we immerse the students in, in education that's ongoing because education, Patty, is what's going to determine the long-term success of their career as a hairdresser. Well, I believe that as a hairdresser, we must never cease to learn. There's something always online, uh, or always something to learn. So what we do is we offer weekly online education. You know, our, our passion is to learn, and we want that to be the passion of the students and the schools where we offer those kids. Right. Well, and as we wrap up this segment, I think it's such an important thing, and we're going to talk in this next segment about um, the educational focus and what you're going to be doing in, in 2018, but the, the attracting the right people to schools is really one of the key aspects that's going to help to upgrade the industry. So I, I love that, the work that you're doing, Sam. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, um, we'll learn a little bit more about some of the effort that Sam is doing in 2018. So stay with us. the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. For all your live or pre-recorded webcasting needs, come to earthchannel.com. Get your web-based message out to a select group or the whole world. It's easy. A pioneer in webcasting, earthchannel.com provides the best products and services to big corporations and government users. And now, this same technology is available to you. They have the best Earthcast encoders, servers, and products to meet your technical needs. But wait, don't want to mess with technical stress? No problem. They'll do it for you. EarthChannel.com is your answer. You can use webcasting for lots of things like advertising, marketing, customer support, training, and don't forget, web radio and TV. In fact, you're listening to a live EarthCast right now. So come to EarthChannel.com. Actualize your audio or video webcasting needs today. You can't beat the friendly service or the price. Call EarthChannel.com at 1-800-849-8978. That's 1-800-849-8978. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how, you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. When you're looking for bedding, department store prices can shock you. We'll be shocked no more. Sell steak cheap, not cheap steak. That's the motto of Anna's Linens. Although they don't sell steak, they do sell the best bedding, bath, and home decor items. They strive to provide their merchandise at extreme value to their customers, and they do it. Great everyday prices on everything and military discounts. Plus, if you visit them online, they have clearance items and Internet specials. Visit them online now at HealthyLife.net's advertiser page. 
Radio your way. HealthyLife.net Hi, this is Patty Smucker, and you're listening to Radio AMB on HealthyLife.net. I'm here with co-founder of Sam Via and the global artistic ambassador for Redken. Sam, we've been talking about uh, the importance of education and being able to attract a better quality individual uh, to the beauty industry by having tools in their uh, student kits that allow them to really enter the industry with the right type of education. Um, Tell us a little bit about what your plans are for 2018 for the industry regarding training. Well, one of the things that we want to do is I've been talking about live education. Obviously, we're going to continue to uh, participate in a lot of the um, the professional events that take place throughout the show circuit. Yeah, one of the main things that we're really trying to do is we're going to continue to um, run a little bit more with our social meaning that we are creating live social events. So let me give you an idea on that. Um, I've been talking about live education versus social and how both of those are great resources, and as a hairdresser, they're both valuable. But what I want to do now is uh, one of the things that we did was we really did educational sound bites, short little videos of educational sound bites that would help hairdressers behind the chair. They were tips and tricks. Now what we want to do is extend that meaning that every month we're going to be offering live education online. So we're offering these Facebook Live seminars where it's two hours long and you can sign up, you purchase a ticket, you're given a code, and you can watch this at any given time. They're held on weeknights. We're encouraging salons to gather their people together and have like a salon meeting and then watch a uh, haircut. So the idea is, is that it's part, it's interactive. So you could actually participate, Patty, and you could ask questions. See, one of the things that these, these videos and these things that we're seeing online and everything, it's, it's a how-to. Mm-hmm. But, but you really can't interact with a how-to. Right. So what we're doing with ours is we're interacting so people can, you know, I can say, Hey, it's Andrea from Chile. She's got a question, and her question is blah, 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 and then we answer the question. Right. And then they get to see that recorded live, so they still get to hear the question. They get to hear the they, you know, they hear the question asked. They get to hear the answer, et cetera. So that's something new that we're going to be doing, and it's, you know, people have talked about streaming live. But this is a little bit different in the fact that it's basically we're utilizing Facebook and we're utilizing Facebook as a as a platform to create this live interactive environment. And this whole blend, though, I think is really awesome where you're utilizing, you've got a very aggressive 2018 live education um, schedule, and I want to make sure that we plug some of those uh, as well. But the idea that you've got um, pre-recorded information, trips, uh, tick tips and tricks uh, that you are both consumer-oriented as well as professional-oriented, starting to do these uh, Facebook Lives, it seems like you're really uh, crossing over and getting a good mesh so everyone can access it in these various different types of ways. But talk for a moment about that live situation, because going to a show, there's nothing like going to a show, not only, as you said, because you can you can ignite the fire, but that exchange between the people that are in the audience with one another, that's a really powerful piece as well, don't you think? Oh, yes, it is. That's what, I mean, let's face it, the days are gone of stand and deliver, Mm -hmm. meaning I'm the teacher, I'm going to stand, I'm going to deliver. The interactive education is really at the forefront right now, adult learning, you know, interactive meaning question, questioning skills. You know, as a teacher, you have to have great questioning skills. So as a teacher now, what I do is if somebody asks me a question, I fire back questions 
that leads them to the answer. Mm -hmm. Because if I can lead them to the answer, then they will embrace it more, and I make them the hero. I'm right. not the hero. Right. So I think facilitation has really changed in terms of what you're seeing. But the audience, is, is the way that they interact with each other, the way, if, for example, I might say, okay, I, I might have talked for 15 minutes and showed them something. Normally what I'll do now, Patty, is I'll pause and say, okay, I want you to turn to the person that you're sitting next to, and I want you to repeat what I said. Mm -hmm. Repeat it in your own way. So let's make sure that we've got that anchor before we move on. Then what happens is when I come back, I'll say, okay, what questions, concern, or comments do we have? And boom, I'll get questions, I'll get concerns, I'll get comments that lead you on to the next thing or allows you to clarify. So the audience is very interactive. And that's exactly what I want to do on those live uh, Facebook lives is we want to keep it interactive because that's where the huge learning curve happens. Yeah, absolutely. And I know um, what are some of the big shows for 2018 that you have on your schedule? American Beauty, America's Beauty Show, which is in Chicago at the end of April. Uh, Premier Orlando, which is in June. We have the Redkin Symposium coming up in January of 2019 which is huge. Um, I'm going to Canada for a huge show in Toronto, and that is in May. Um, but there's, there's pretty much every major show I'm pretty much at. Absolutely. At show. You... And then I'm also very happy to announce that I'm involved with this one program called Leading Ladies, where we're, what we're trying to do is let's bring the ladies to the forefront. You always see these men on platform stages. Where are the women? Mm -hmm. You know, where are the Vivian McKenders? Where are, are the best minorities? Mm -hmm. So, you know, what we're doing is Leading Ladies is basically a panel that I um, MC, and it's ladies, uh, Aiden Sassoon, Tracy Hughes, uh, Jenny Streeby, um Let's see. You've got these these girls. That Gin, are, Ginger that Boyle. Leading, mm -hmm. leading the professional market. Right. Absolutely. And Sam, why do you think that it's it's been so male dominated in terms of education in our industry? That's a good question. You know, I I, I really don't know. I mean, I don't see any reason why it has to be. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. I just think that I don't know. I mean. But it's, I, it's, I personally would love to see more women at the forefront. Well, it's time. And, and, and I think that, I mean, this is a watershed moment in terms of what's happening in our society as far as really empowering women and giving women the opportunity to have a voice. So I, I, I applaud you. I think it's a, an important uh, attribute and really speaks to one of the things that you mentioned to me that's very important to you, and that's artists supporting artists. Yes. That's one of the big movements where it's it's about it, it the artist hashtag artist supporting artists came from my education director andrew crothers and it was something where i kept talking to him about the bashing on social media and how we need to support each other and he came up with a hashtag and basically it's a movement to communicate in a more thoughtful respectful way to promote growth and evolution in the salon professional industry it's a movement that embraces all sides of the industry, whether it's rental, commission, chain, outlets, whatever it be. It's about hairdressers supporting each other. It's a movement to share knowledge with one another and create a chain reaction of positive information and encouragement in terms of what the industry has to offer. So it's about upgrading and respecting and supporting one another. That's wonderful. All right, well, we're going to take a, a final break, and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about where the San Villa brand is going and uh, the ways that brands also can be supporting brands. So stay with us. We'll be right back. the thing about beauty it's pretty at americanmadebeauty.com we're all about the pretty making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine we have essentially everything you need and americanmadebeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the u.s of a imagine everything you need from the best hair skin and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at americanmadebeauty.com we also think you're pretty important so visit americanmadebeauty.com browse buy learn americanmadebeauty.com when you're looking for bedding, department store prices can shock you. Well, be shocked no more. 
sell steak cheap, not cheap steak. That's the motto of Anna's Linens. Although they don't sell steak, they do sell the best bedding, bath, and home decor items. They strive to provide their merchandise at extreme value to their customers, and they do it. Great everyday prices on everything and military discounts. Plus, if you visit them online, they have clearance items and Internet specials. Visit them online now at HealthyLife.net's advertiser page. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com to learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. Oh, man, it never fails. My suitcase just got ripped apart. Life is a journey. Make it a pleasant one. Use Samsonite. You know the name. For almost a century, Samsonite luggage has proved itself to be the worldwide leader in innovative travel solutions. Let it be yours. Visit HealthyLife.net's affiliate Samsonite on our homepage and click to look at the fine luggage from suitcases to golf travel bags. And don't forget... Take a look at their travel accessories. Make life a journey, a pleasant one, with Samsonite. HealthyLife.net, where positive overcomes negative. Hey, thanks for staying with us. We are in our final segment. This is Patty Smucker. You're listening to Radio A and B on HealthyLife.net. And I'm here with co-founder of Sam Via, Sam Via himself, and who is also the global artistic ambassador for Redkin. Sam, it's just been um, a great uh, fun to talk about your vision and where you're going uh, and the importance of education for our industry. Tell us a little bit about your brand and what you see uh, that's uh, a Head for for your company. Well, the Samvia brand is about education, and we just happen to sell tools. <clears throat> but our focus is education. We believe that everyone deserves education, uh, it, whether you know, no matter where they are, it, whether it be rental, commission, chain, it doesn't matter. But I also uh, felt that tools needed to be offered that are ergonomically correct. Tools designed by a stylist for stylists. Hairdresser for hairdresser, you know, that builds the confidence and gives predictable results. That was one thing that I wanted to do with the tools. The education side is about, you know, keeping things simple. I really believe that communication builds wealth. And one of the things that we wanted to do is if you notice a lot of things that we post on YouTube, a lot of things that we post in social media, we post things that are simple. We make it simple. And I think we're doing things right because we have over 165 million minutes watched on YouTube. Our, our Instagram is up to uh, 755,000 followers. So our numbers continue to grow, and it's because I think we are into this whole concept of share, share, share. Mm-hmm. You know, artists supporting artists, brands supporting brands. And that's one thing I want to really want to do in 2018 is restore the evolution of change in this industry meaning that the industry change needs to be more about supporting each other. And I'm, I'm, I'm just a really, I'm really big into that in terms of what we're doing and why we're doing it. But the industry is something, you know, I've had the privilege, Patty, of finding purpose through a lifelong passion to teach. And I found, I found great joy in it, you know, the opportunity to inspire others to follow their creative path. You know, the, the whole journey has been the reward for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had the opportunity and good fortune of working with many great artists and mentors. You know, over the 35 years that I've been in the industry, I started when I was one, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but over the 35 years that I've been in the industry, so many people have shared so many things with me. And I choose to stand in front of an audience motivated by the passion to teach. Right. I'm not a rock star. I'm not a genius. I'm not a visionary. I'm not um, an inventor. I'm a hairdresser who chooses to be a teacher and who also chooses to uh, create tools that are ergonomically correct and stand behind those tools in a professional way. 
But and, I've learned so much from many talented individuals in our industry, and I feel lucky to be in a position to pass it on to others. And um, it's it's amazing, you know, to be in this industry. Yeah, and 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 but I w- I'm wondering though. I mean, when you talk about uh, with the um, stylist supporting stylists, I love the whole idea of thoughtful, kind communication. Um, but how do you plan to get brands supporting brands? That's that. See, there's such a competitive nature in our industry. That's a tough one. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going through that right now. Mm-hmm. I mean. I, I, I'm, I'm under Redken, but I did a photo shoot, uh, and another brand was involved in the photo shoot. And then all of a sudden, people thought, well, wait a minute. In social media, they wait a minute. Is Sam not working with Redken anymore? Mm-hmm. You see how it, things can just be so uh, mistaken. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's not an easy, it's not, it's not going to be an easy solution. Mm-hmm. It really isn't. But I want to be a voice out there and say, hey, you know what? If you don't like Sam Vias Shears, then buy Casho. Mm-hmm. If you don't like Redken, then buy uh, Matrix. Right. You know, but as long as you're support, we're supporting each other and you're supporting a professional brand. Right. That's right. what's important to me. Well, and, and being educated and going back to what we talked about at the beginning of the show, you have had so many years that you've perfected your message and your mechanism by which to engage people for education. Now you're having the opportunity to expand that with your voice to the consumer. It sounds like you're in a place where you've got a platform that allows you to engage people to, to transform and change their behavior. Yes. And I really believe that that's come from a team. I'm surrounded by great people. Mm-hmm. And I really believe the word team is made up of five words. We believe in each other. And, you know, I really believe that a successful salon is not made of a group of individuals. It's made of a team of individuals. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, that's basically, you know, the, the heart of a hairdresser is is based upon this, this strong work ethic of of the ability to continually innovate and create and and do it with passion. Well, and it sounds like your uh, the vision that your parents had for you to, um, uh, whatever profession you did in your life, to do it with complete another focus and passion, that uh, you've built your team around those that, that, that ethos as well. Yes. And, you know, that's important. I've always, you know, my dad, one of the things my dad shared with me is he said, people buy people, then they buy things. Mm. You know, if you can help people get what they want, you'll get what you want. That's beautiful. Say that again. People buy people, and then they buy things. That's correct. Mm-hmm. That's why Nordstrom is Nordstrom's. Mm-hmm. And Macy's has, has been trying to catch up for years. Mm-hmm. It's because Nordstrom's made the connection immediately. Right. You know, and that's how I've, I've driven my company is, you know, make a connection. You know, sell yourself as a person. And that's what a hairdresser needs to do behind a chair. Sell yourself as a, as a, uh, as a salon professional. And One that, that is, has, shows genuine concern for that person sitting in the chair. And you mentioned it earlier in one of the segments that I love that saying that you said that price is what consumers pay and value is what they get. That's absolutely right. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely right. right. I mean, like, it, I think one of the rules that I want to break in salons is get the mannequins out of the back room. Mm-hmm. I want to see, you know, there's no value in the back room. And that's what I tell hairdressers. Get out of the back room. There's no value there. There's more value on the salon floor. Well, Sam, i got a color processing for 35 minutes. Okay, so take that mannequin over to the color that's processing and show her how to do two simple braids. Show her how to cover up an elastic on her daughter's ponytail. That's value. Absolutely. And, 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 and then people are like, I mean, well, Sam, you're showing her that how to do that, but her hair is it's a pixie. I'll go, yeah. I'm going to show her that because I'm going to make her the hero of the family. Right. You, right. Don't, you don't know if she has daughters, granddaughters, nieces. But see, it's those types of things, Patty, that create a different vibe in the salon. It creates a different character in the salon. People, clients will go, what's that guy over there doing? Oh, that's right. crazy, Sam. He's playing with his dolls. He's showing a client how to do a couple of Well, that's so cool what he did. I really like that. Wow, that's cool that you guys do that. Right. And, and, and it transforms the experience uh, in the salon environment, which, again, it goes back to the consumer wants to be touched. So the more we can do to create that experience uh, and make it an impactful experience, the more value there is. 
Right. Sam, thank you. We're, we're sort of running out of time here. This has really been a delight to have a chance to share um, your vision and where you're going. Um, you've been such a wonderful mentor to myself and many in the industry. Thanks for taking some time to be with us today. Uh, it, was, it was a pleasure, Patty, and anything we can do to help the industry grow. Great. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks for being with us. Join us next week as we focus on wellness with the Director of Education of the Wellness and Beauty Beauty Center from Universal Companies, um, Anita Limkin. I am Patty Smucker. Thanks for listening to Radio AMB, where we think pretty is pretty important in all things in beauty. For all your live or pre-recorded webcasting needs, come to earthchannel.com. Get your web-based message out to a select group or the whole world. It's easy. A pioneer in webcasting, earthchannel.com provides the best products and services to big corporations and government users. And now, this same technology is available to you. They have the best earthcast encoders, servers, and products to meet your technical needs. But wait, don't want to mess with technical stress? No problem. They'll do it for you. EarthChannel.com is your answer. You can use webcasting for lots of things like advertising, marketing, customer support, training, and don't forget, web radio and TV. In fact, you're listening to a live EarthCast right now. So come to EarthChannel.com. Actualize your audio or video webcasting needs today. You can't beat the friendly service or the price. Call EarthChannel.com at 1-800-849-8978. That's 1-800-849-8978. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Obstacle racing. You know you want to try it. Well, try Reebok Spartan Race, the global leader in obstacle racing. With four different race levels, their goal is to get you up off the couch and throw you into the mud and on the trails to give you the adrenaline rush of your life. Obstacle courses are designed to test your resilience, strength, stamina, quick decision-making skills, and give you the ability to laugh in the face of adversity. Visit HealthyLife.net advertiser page and click on Spartan Race. HealthyLife.net, the positive radio network.